Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. Uh, today we have a Muslim who is answering me regarding uh, Jesus saying he is God. And you know, for me, I quoted it from the Bible where Jesus said, uh, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. And this is in Matthew uh, 21 to 23. Now the Abdul, let us uh, make it uh, more clear. It's hard to take all the text. Anyway, you know that verse. Uh, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my of uh, of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father. Now, the, the Muslim Abdul, he is saying the following. I swear by Allah, you Christians do not do simple math. Or English, you know, you want to talk about math, I challenge you to go and figure out how the inheritance according to the Quran is going to be divided you will spend 10,000 years to find out how stupid your God to say what he said however this is not our topic don't talk about math huh? I can show you tons of examples of his stupid math of your God not your prophet only now regarding my English my friend who said that I am teaching you English I am not what about you say to your prophet, how funny you're Arabic, man. I mean, you are a prophet of God, and we've put in front of you two words. One of them, it says donkey, and the other one, it says Allah. Which one of them, Muhammad, is Allah? He will not know. So how come you are upset from my English, but you are not upset from following a prophet who do not know even to recognize the difference between the name of a donkey and the name of God? Yet you have no problem with him. Not to mention how stupid the Quran is and how many errors in, in Arabic is. Now, when somebody like me speak Arabic, you say to him, how funny your English. But if somebody he don't speak Arabic, he speak English, he will say to him, huh, 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 huh. you don't speak Arabic. In order to understand Islam, my friend, you have to know Arabic. So you could not find an excuse except saying to, to me that my English is not good. Shame on you. Now, all, it, all what you do is attack Muslims and yet you cannot prove that why Jesus is God. Jesus saying he is Lord doesn't mean he is God. Okay, he is showing you here words and sentences about what words can be as, as Lord. You see, my friend, uh, uh, I always say Muslims have a lack of intelligence, and I, you have to admit, because here is speaking about going to heaven. They are not calling him Lord, Lord, to get some money. They are not calling him Lord to get, to get the tomato. They are not calling him Lord, he give us wages. They are not giving him Lord to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, for the sake of respect. It's about going to salvation. It's about heaven. So Jesus is saying, you call me Lord to earn salvation. How you earn salvation? by Do you call Muhammad Lord to earn salvation? I never saw any statement in the Hadith or in the Quran, you call Muhammad Lord. Never. So here they are calling him Lord, Lord as an act of worship seeking salvation and jesus saying to them well not everyone now the muslims the naive muslims actually i, I spoke about this verse because the naive muhammadan they pose for us this uh, verse claiming that jesus here saying he is not god it is the opposite he is not saying if you call me lord lord you will not go to heaven he is saying not everyone which means there is exception and the exception, not everyone, which means there is many who will say to me, Lord, Lord, and they worship me. They will go to heaven. So here the statement of Lord, Lord is about you saying, Lord, Lord, which means you believe in Jesus as Lord, and then you go to heaven. Why did not, why Jesus says, uh, did not say, uh, not everyone says to me, prophet to prophet? Why he did not say, everyone says to me, uh, you know, uh, uh, monk or you know or, or a messenger of god why lord what he is lord about them you know jesus did not have an army you see if jesus have soldiers and he have armies i will let it go maybe they mean that way if jesus was a guy who owned uh, villages and he is a lord of a noble family i will say that he was not he was living between the poor and he lived as a poor so why they want to call him lord why why we will call him lord so the, the conditions to go to heaven is to say, Lord, all right? And look what it says here. Many will say to me 
in that day, Lord, Lord, this is in the judgment day. <laughs> Still, you see this, not only now, this is in judgment day. M many they will say to me, you know, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? So in judgment day, there's people, they will stand in front of him and they will say, oh, you know, but we prophesied in your name. And look what else. And any in the name have cast the devil. Can you cast the devil by the name of Muhammad? If you if you say the name of Muhammad in somebody, he will have the devil right away. So here, the name of Jesus, the Lord, can cast the devil out of somebody. And those people saying to him, "Will we prophesied in your name and we made miracles in your name, using your name?" He said, "And in the and they continue saying." And in the name done many wonderful works. Can you do a wonderful work, which means miracle? He wonderful is a miracle. Can you do miracles in the name of Muhammad? As I remember, last time Muhammad he made a miracle. It was about him when he go to heaven. Allah he will give him the power of four thousand men intercourse. And the miracle he claimed he did in the earth that he can have sex with all his thirteen wives in fifteen minutes, which means he can even beat me. Unbelievable. I thought I am like the, the most powerful man on earth because I can do it in 16 minutes, but 15, no way. So Muhammad is the winner. So in your name, we do wonderful work. So look what they do in the name of Jesus. They prophesy. Do you prophesy in the name of Muhammad or prophesy in the name of God? For sure you will say in the name of God. Hey, potato, wake up. Hey, hey, you, you, Abdul. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, not the one is putting his finger in his nose, getting boogers. The other Abdul. Yeah, you. Do you see they make wonder in his name? They prophesy in his name. They cast the devil in his name. And what his name is Lord. And who is that Lord? That Jesus. So how stupid of you to teach me English. Go and learn you. In, and by the way, here they are speaking. This is, this, is, uh, this is not English. This is a translation. The word is Rab. You know what Rab mean? Let me show. Now let us see the word Lord in your Quran. It appears always as a word mean God. Read with me. You, you Abdul, you recite the chapter of Al Fatiha five times a day, but you do not know what the word rub me. You said, Lord, it's in your face. Is he a lord of a village or he is a lord of etc.? And this example can be repeated all over the Quran. What Abraham he called his God, Rabbi. You see it? Chapter 2, verse 1 to 6. Ibrahim again, he said, Rabbi, chapter 2, verse 260, the wife of Amran. And by the way, who is the wife of Amran? The wife of Amran is the mother of Mary. But the stupid Muhammad, he forgot that the wife of Amran, the wife of Amran and Amran is the mother of Maryam, the sister of Aaron. And by the way, this is what the Quran call her, call her Maryam. So the idiot Muhammad, he thought Maryam, the sister of Aaron, is the sister, is the same daughter of Amran which is his name mentioned in the Bible. Look what he says. Rabbi. Do you see it, Lord? Why did not call him God? Because this is the word God, Rabbi. Lord. I mean, how you can teach a Muslim? I, I, I know, I know, a guy, he decided to teach Muslim how to learn mathematics. The guy, he sat with him for 40 days. And then when he left, he was saying, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Sayyidan al Azim, Alam Lameen. He forgot it, he lost his mind. How you can be a Muslim, how you can be a Muslim and you can be smart? It's in, 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 in like impossible mission. When she put her, which means deliver her, she said, Rabbi, who is the one who's talking? The mother of Mary. What that mean? Chapter 3, verse number 36. Lord. Let us see Yusuf Ali here what he will say about the word Rabb. Let's see if he will give it now the correct translation. No? No? You see? When she delivered, she said, Oh my Lord. So what's wrong with you? The most ignorant people in the world who they think they are the most smart, the most corrupt nation in the world who they think they are the most decent so my friend when jesus said lord lord he is speaking about worshiping him 
those people are seeking salvation. And because they are seeking salvation, they will enter heaven, but not all of them. There is a condition is to do what he taught. For Jesus don't accept hypocrites. Not like your prophet, he said, the one who said, Allah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, Allah will take him to heaven. It's not like Islam, the stupid religion. If somebody embraced the two stones, this, the black stone and the, and the Yemeni corner stone, Allah will forgive all his sin. We don't believe in such a garbage. You cannot do that with Jesus. Not like your Muhammad, he said, the one who give a mortgage to Allah. God need mortgage? Have you ever heard of a God need mortgage? Why? What, what happens? He want to buy a house? So if you give a mortgage to Allah, Allah will uh, give you a corner lot in the heaven. I mean, have you ever heard? Muhammad is trying to fool the people in any way, in any mean. How I can make them give me money and that will guarantee them heaven? You know, okay, give me qardan hasanan. Give me a mortgage. How you can give Allah a mortgage? Give me mortgage and Allah will give you double and double and double. Okay, guys, you wanna, wanna take a mortgage? You wanna give me mortgage? Chapter two, verse number two, four, five, four, five. This is a prophet of God. Why Jesus did not say, give me mortgage? Have you ever heard of Jesus asking people, say, give, give me mortgage and I will take you to heaven? You know, the, the funny, the Muslim, they say that in certain time, the Pope of the Catholic, he gave a document for heaven. Like if you, you, you can buy it. The fact this is in Islam, not in Christianity. If that is true, and I checked, I could not find really any real source for that, but this is in Islam. You give Allah a loan. A loan for Allah, why? Why? A beautiful loan. How much? How much the interest? Allah will give you, multiply many times credit. Guys, if any one of you would like to give me a loan, because I'm poor and I want to buy just a nice villa in the front of the beach, so if you don't mind, I have a donation link down in the video. Please give Allah alone. Because if you give it to me, as if you give it to Allah. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you, Abdul, you have a nice shower. And I hope my English is getting better. According to your accreditation association, uh, the, uh, uh, the Camel Urine Organization of Allah. Thank you. God bless.